Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and in this video we're going to cover a topic that I've never talked about on my channel before but it's something I felt like I wanted to share with you guys and that is what we do for flea and tick control on our outside dogs here on the farm. So as you can see we obviously live way out in the woods Fleas and ticks are a huge problem for us, especially with our livestock guard dogs like Bear and Callie. You guys don't see Callie a whole lot. She's the big white shaggy Great Pyrenees. She's about 10 years old. She's kind of retired from the livestock guardian stuff. Uh, she just kind of lays around a lot. But Bear especially is always out in the woods, out in the fields, walking through tall grass. He picks up a lot of fleas and ticks. Uh, we've also got Bella here that stays with us at the house. She's kind of our just family, family dog. Bella's a lab. So I've been using these for about two years and it's a product called Ceresto and it's a flea and tick collar. Uh, we used several different products over the years for fleas and ticks and mostly, you know, everyone's kind of big on the, the drops you put on the back of their neck. And some of those work great, but it seems like over the last several years they become less and less effective. Uh, what the drops that are supposed to last 30 days end up not lasting anywhere near 30 days. Before you know it, the dogs are covered in fleas and our yard's covered in fleas. Well, this will be the third year in a row um, we've used this product called Ceresto. And it's a flea and tick collar. Super, super easy to use. Um, I'll demonstrate how we uh, put them on our dogs. I know it's a flea and tick collar, but I've got one extra step that I want to show you. So Ceresto controls fleas, ticks, and lice for up to eight months, supposedly. Now, I'll just be quite honest with you. I don't think they last eight months. Matter of fact, I know they don't last eight months for us. Now that's not to say if you live somewhere in a suburban type area where your dog may only go out in the yard and has isn't really likely to get a lot of fleas and ticks, it may last a little longer. But here, where we live, in this situation, um, a good six months or so. These things last a good six months. And I, I've been really, really impressed. Uh, it says on here, one collar repels fleas and ticks uh, flea larvae and lice. So it's it's a really good product that I really like to use. Uh, these are available on Amazon. This is the first year I've actually thought about buying them on Amazon because in the past we just went to our vet. Well the problem with that is they want you to bring each dog in for a doctor visit. So they're going to charge you $30, $40 for a visit, a consultation, exam, everything like that. And then they'll set you up with the Ceresto. Well, at my vet clinic, these were about $80 a piece. But then you put on top of that a $40 visit or $20, same $20 doctor visit. It's going to be more than that probably, but you're looking at $100 per dog. Well, I found these on Amazon for $52 a piece. So I've got an affiliate link down in the description box down below if you're interested. Uh, just make sure you get the right one for your size dog. They have small dog, medium, large. Just look it up, figure out what size dog you need or what size collar you need for your size dog. And uh, I think you'll be very impressed and it'll save you a lot of money over going to the vet. Um, you know, you're looking at about half the price when you figure in the vet visit consultation. Um, so check them out on Amazon. Check out the link in the description box down below. Now let me get Bella over here and I'm going to put one of these on her and I'm going to show you the extra step I take because I don't want to lose this $52 flea collar that she's always scratching at. Hey Bella, you need your flea collar, huh? Do you need your flea collar on? Is it time to get you all fixed up? Hmm? Let's get you fixed up. Alrighty. Let's get you some camera time, because everybody knows you enjoy a little camera time, don't you, Bella? So the collars come a little extra long. You're going to have to trim it. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just like any other flea collar. But they're actually very long. Come here, Bella. Come here, girl. Come here. Hey, sit. Bella, sit. Good girl. So they're actually very long and it's just got a loop. You just feed it through the loop. Well, come here, Bella. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit, Bella. So the problem I've found over the, the last three years of using these is with just that, that loop system that's on here. Here, turn a little bit, Bella. When you pull it on snug, um, it's got a loop here to, to push it through, to feed the extra through. But what I found is the dogs will actually get out here and scratch. They'll scratch at that collar sometimes, and they can actually work it loose. So 
what I do is I take some cable ties or zip ties, wire ties, and tie. I put an extra, a little extra strength in the loop where this excess comes through. You know, I feed it back through the the uh, latch system that they have, but it just doesn't quite hold like it should. Now, with the flea and tick collar, you want to get it on fairly tight, but not too tight, obviously, that it starts to choke your dog. But they, they recommend tight enough that you can only fit two fingers under the collar. So you want as much contact with the collar and the skin as possible. So I'm going to take my cable ties, my zip ties, and I'm going to put one up pretty close to the buckle and cinch it on really tight. Trim the excess. Be still, Bill. I don't want to cut you. And then I'm also going to come on over here a little farther, closer to the end where the tag end is, and put one there. And I'm going to cinch it down really tight because I don't want to lose this $52 flea collar like I have in the past. So there you have it. Flea collar installed. And Bella should be set for about six months. Come here, Bella. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Sit. So, ooh, that light's terrible, isn't it? So there you go. Bella should be set for the next six months. Uh, that collar does a really excellent job of keeping fleas and ticks off of her. And it'll actually kill the fleas and ticks that are already on her. Within a day or two, they'll all just fall off and be gone. And I know a lot of people that live on a small farm or out in the country have a lot of problems with fleas and ticks. It's a huge issue. And I don't like dipping the dog. You know, old style was fill up that big tub and put that dip in there and dip them. And I, it just doesn't work for these big outside dogs as well as these flea collars do. Um, so like I said, it's made by Soresto. And I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description box down below. Go check them out. Like I said, it'll save you a lot of money versus going to the vet for a vet visit and getting the same product. Ain't that right, Bella? We're all about saving money, aren't we? Yeah, we're all about saving money. That's always good, huh? Well, guys, thanks for watching. That's all for this video. I just wanted to do a quick update on what we do for fleas and ticks, uh, to control fleas and ticks on our dogs here on our farm. It can be a really big issue and your dogs can end up getting sick if they got too many fleas and ticks. And we don't want them to be sick. We want happy, healthy dogs, huh, Bella? Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something, and I hope maybe it helps you out on, uh, you know, a little maintenance on your on your pets. They sell lots of different uh, sizes. They got them for cats, dogs, everything. So go check them out at Soresto. Look them up on Amazon. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Huh, Bella? Ain't that right?